I'm gonna pre-advise you, take some Dramamine before watching this video. What's up everybody, Blue Gabe. Y'all see these trees in the background? You hear all this wind? This one thought it was a great idea to go lob churn today, but hey. We're charging it. Hey, I thawed out some elk steaks from the elk I killed back in September. Figured lobster would go good with it, so. We're headed offshore and it's blowing 47 out of the north. It's probably gonna be about six foot seas, but. We know, ain't scared. You know us Arringtons, especially the oldest one, who we thought was the smartest. We're going. We'll see y'all out there. Y'all, it is rough. The visibility don't look very good at all. We're doing it, baby. But look we're, at all the fish, though. We're doing it. When you're watching a film of somebody out on a boat, it always looks calmer than it actually is. It is flat out rough. We're gonna get all of Aubrey's gear ready. He's gonna go first. Hopefully he comes up with a bunch of bugs. Then I'm gonna go back down. So this is our poly ball, our locating buoy. Hooked to this bag right here and I always know where my diver is with this buoy. If you're diving and you lose your buoy, time to go up because whoever's driving the boat will be following that buoy. We try to, how deep are we Aubrey? 75? So we're in 75 foot of water. I try to let out about 115, 120 foot of line because there's current coming from the south really hard, about three knots. The buoy will be behind you. You don't want it to be straight above you. You want it to be at an angle. We've got a lobster bag. When we get down, you hook it in a hole, and then you've got your hands to work with because the current's raging. You can't stop down there and hold this ball without this hook. Now, a bunch of you think we're crazy for diving by ourselves. This is how we grew up doing it. We're both comfortable down there. If something happens, we're not gonna panic. We know what to do. I just, I personally, I know Aubrey's the same way. When I'm diving with a buddy, my mind now isn't solely on myself. It's also thinking about them, which could cause a problem for me. So I know a bunch of y'all hate it that we dive by ourselves, but our mama didn't raise no sissies and that's how we do it. Got to put the integrated weights in. Okay. We've all done it. Jump in without gloves, that's a bad day. You either come up and get gloves or you just man up and get beat up hands. You ever jumped in without gloves? Yeah, my biggest video, the lobster video, I didn't have any gloves on. <laughs> and I realized it when I got down there. You just want the net and the pole spear? I don't want a net. I just want the pole spear. So when Aubrey's getting ready, I'm on standby to help him, but I'm not over there trying to get in his space. He knows what he needs to do. Therefore, when he does it, he's not questioning, did Gabe do that or did my other buddy do it? So that's why we let people do it on their own. I personally don't want anybody helping me once I'm getting dressed. Cause then I know, hands down, that my stuff's right. All right, pull here. here, bag. You want it on? Yeah. Yeah, I want it on. Pull me up to that dive flag, Mark. All right, hold on. 
I told y'all, and as you can see from this footage, it is sloppy rough. We're almost to the mark. Aubrey's getting ready to go down. Adios, amigos. See y'all later. This was less than six inches. Psycho dirty. You guys, we can't even get it done today. So you're gonna have to deal with uh, elk steaks for dinner. I gotta put this camera down and get him in the boat. Bro, that's the dirtiest I've ever seen water. <laughs> you guys, we, was like... we came out, we tried. I'm still gonna make this video just to show y'all that it ain't always easy but you can't sit home on the couch and hope that it's always gonna be easy. You gotta go out. Sometimes you fail, hey, that's what happens. When he went down, I was watching his bubbles. I told Alex, I said, I think he's already coming up. And for Aubrey to come up. That's the dirtiest I've ever seen the water, ever. One thing about it, I've got fresh elk steaks laid out that I've been marinating for 24 hours. <laughs> At least y'all are gonna see something good to eat. It is what it is. We'll see y'all at the house. That was jacked up. You're not truly from the South. And you weren't truly raised right unless one really dumb thing didn't work out and you decide to do another really dumb thing. And that's try again. But hey, we really want lobster and Aubrey's really set on going lobster and so we're gonna try it again. We've moved out to about 86.2 foot of water so we're another mile off than we were. I'm hoping there's enough visibility to catch lobster because we want lobster, but we'll see. He's going back. Give me that tank. One big huge piece of advice. Nobody ever became successful giving up the first time. We don't give up. We're going back down. And if it's clear enough for him to catch a lobster, I'm going to put my junk on and I'm going to go down too. Because you can't catch him on the couch. But are you ready? I'm ready. You're right dead on top of them. All right, now all we can do is wait. It's 86 feet, so it's gonna take him about two minutes to get down there, and if it's clear enough for him to, if he can see five feet, he will try to catch a lobster. There ain't nobody tougher than Aubrey Arrington. He said when he got down on that first dive, he sat on his knees on the bottom. He was recording, and maybe you won't be able to see it, so I'll explain it now. He said he was sitting on the bottom and could not see the bottom. He stuck his head down and finally saw it when it was that close. Don't 
won't go anywhere though because I took some fresh elk steaks out. I know I already said it earlier in the video, but let me tell you something. These ain't your average elk steaks. If you've seen my jerky video, you see that marinade? Well, these elk steaks have been marinating in that for about 24 hours, and we're gonna put them on the grill. Hey, but for now, like Jake says, we're getting out of shape. Alright y'all, as you can see from that footage, it was rough, bad rough coming in. One thing that I use, I always try to use good gear. That's a $1,300 camera Alex is using. When I wasn't using it, it was in here. This Ingle Dry Box, my SD cards, extra cell phone batteries, camera cases, bone dry. Everything on this boat is wet, except for what's in this cooler and inside that center console. Hey. Get you a dry box, highly recommended. Now, we'll see y'all back in the kitchen. We're headed there right now. All right, y'all, we're back. There's those elk steaks, but first, I'm gonna make my homemade mashed potatoes. Add a little bit of kosher salt. That seemed like a bunch, but it wasn't. That lid's not opening very well. Put the lid on, let these cook. This can cooker is awesome for mashed potatoes. It makes it just so much easier. A cup of water. Soy sauce. Now I'm gonna add the mushrooms, carrots, and onions into the mashed potatoes, but not until they're softened up. And I don't wanna make them in there because it'll make it hard when I do mash them. Not that much. Put the lid on that and let it cook. Come here and show them these elk steaks. Mmm. I'm gonna take a paper towel and dry them off a little bit. Put them on the Traeger grill. All right, the potatoes are done. All I got left to do is make them. Mushrooms, carrots, and onions are pretty much done. The elk steaks are at room temperature. Got the original can cooker. The Traeger set up. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all something that's pretty cool about that Traeger in just a second. Look at my phone. Look at that. I can directly control the temperature from the phone. How cool is that? If I have a probe, which I do, and like if I was cooking prime rib, I could hit that and it would tell me the temperature inside the meat, but let's go put it on the grill. All right, so I got it set at 400 degrees, which is hot. I like my steaks medium rare. Won't take long. Look at that. Now, let's go make the mashed potatoes. About a half a cup to a cup of milk. One of these little quarter chunks of butter. I know a lot of people are like, holy cow, that's a lot of butter. Guess what? I like some butter. A little bit of the original can cooker. Just mush it up just like you normally would. Redneck, you thirsty? Alright, I'm going to continue mashing these up and I'll show you all the next phase as soon as the steaks are done. Alright, y'all want to meet Frank, the deer meat eating blue crab? Watch this. We caught this crab when he was that big about two months ago. Let's see if he's sleeping right now, but let's see if we can't wake him up. Come on, Frank. Hey. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, red light, chill. Oh, oh no. I can't see it. Alright, 
man. Oh, whoa, Gobi. I don't think he's hungry. Oh, I can't see. He's got it. Oh, he got it. How neat is that? Are you trying to see? Oh, you want some deer meat? For any of y'all that are new to the channel, that's Redneck. Redneck is our little mascot, our little dog. He's four years old, he's a Jack Russell, and he goes pretty much everywhere and does everything with me. So earlier we fed him, and I had that up. That joker came and crawled out and stuck his old claws up. So maybe next video, I'll start feeding him in every video, and maybe next video we'll get him to do it. Right now he was sleeping and I woke him up and he's pissed. He's not even eating, so he fit, he ate a pretty big chunk this morning, so. Steaks are almost done, we'll see y'all in a second. All right, so I went ahead and plugged the probe in. The inner core of that meat is 174 degrees, which is even hotter than I want it to be. So, let's take it off. Woo! That's hot. Mm. Look at that. Now this thing's the easiest thing in the world to shut down. Just hold the button. Shut down in 15 minutes. Come on up in here. Come on up in here. Come here and let them smell this piece of meat. Here, just y'all smell it one time. Can you smell it? Oh, it's so good. I'm just gonna sit here and oh. Y'all know that looks perfect, don't you? Mm. All right, these mashed potatoes are on point. Right on top. But does that look good? Look how medium rare it is. All right, y'all ready to watch it again? This time I'll fold them in. Now, when I killed this elk in September, I took care of the meat, vacuum sealed it, and put it in a freezer. It's just as fresh today as it was when I killed it. Don't get no better than that. I think it's time to eat. What y'all think? Let's sit down and eat. All right, y'all, there she is in all her awkwardness. Her first <laughs> YouTube debut. Redneck, come here. You wish you could have some of that? Do you, do you wish you could have some of that? I'm ready to dig in. All right, let's ask the blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for allowing us to get out there in that rough ocean and get back safely. Most importantly, thank you for dying on the cross and forgive us of our sins. Amen. All right, let's see what your first piece tastes like. Have you ever had elk before? No, I haven't. Mm. Good. I haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> Pretty much anything you cook on that grill is going to be good. Try the mashed taters. Mm. Perfect. I actually was gonna make mashed potatoes tonight because Luke loves mashed potatoes so much, but he's not here. His mom hadn't seen him in a few days, so they're back at the house. Jake has a show heifer in the 4-H. Leave a comment below if y'all wanna see that video. He really wants to show it, and I think I'm going to. I just don't know how some of y'all will take that, but leave a comment below. But right now we're gonna eat. We'll be back in a second. I got a little bit more to tell you. Y'all wanna see what? Alex likes to call it a happy plate. How many videos have y'all seen me do? You hardly ever even see me eat more than one or two bites. I just, just about lick that plate clean. I only give Redneck two bites. That's it. All right, that's a wrap. We're done. I'm full. I need to do dishes. Got to edit. I got two videos to edit that I've already filmed. One of them's a cooking video and the other one's going to be another lobster video because guess what? 
it ain't always rough and we got one coming that down the pipes that's gonna be so good so hey thanks for all the positive comments thanks for the likes thanks for the shares thanks for all the shares thanks for all the shares hint hint hey until next time like jake always says we're getting out of shape